What's up, dog? What's going on? How you been? Good. What's up? What's up, man? Thanks for having us. How you doing? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? How you feeling like that's over there? It's a wild guy right here. Wild boy. Wild boy. Don't ask me why I'm so handy with this. Full fucking sin! <laughs> bro, I need the black one though, dogs. It better be in this box right here, bro. I need the original black. Like, you know what I'm saying? What, the full sin? Yeah, no, nah, the, the happy dad. Like a kid on Christmas or some shit. <laughs> fire! Yeah, Yo, it's yeah, mad fire shit. Man. This shit is fire. All right, boys. Uh, we're going for it. Episode two, we had a bunch of other episodes filmed that we said fuck it because we landed Tory Lane, so we're pushing everybody else back. Yeah, bitch. Full Call send podcast. First episode absolutely crushed. It's got three million views in five days. We've got hey. six hundred thousand subscribers. Bob's probably getting fired after this episode if he I doesn't get be. it together. <laughs> Dana White. Dana White. Um, <laughs> we're bringing on Salim for this episode. Um, we'll see how he does. Hopefully he doesn't fuck up and just blow the whole thing. Yeah. We don't know Celine though. Fiend, what's up? We don't know. <laughs> and, he might. Way, what is that thing, by the way? Hmm? What is that thing? What you call King blunt. Kong's finger. That is the biggest fucking blunt I've ever seen in my King life. King Kong. Act like that you never smoked before. No, I can't. I'm not a big. I can't smoke. I get too. Pa I get paranoid. I can't do it. I'm yeah, actually a pussy when it comes to weed now too. <laughs> I just get fried now. Get the blunt. Fuck it. We have to. Oh shit, right, Kyle's in, in the book. He's hitting black yeah. leprechaun. Yo, He's smoking black leprechaun time. right this now. This is the first time seeing hey. Kyle is smoking oh, black shit. leprechaun weed right now. Let's go. He's smoking black leprechaun. Oh, it's what's crazy. Up, this is gonna be what is crazy. there fucking meth in it or some shit? No. <laughs> the black nah, leprechaun. That looks like some good ganja right there. Nah, nah, Let's nah. Go. Black leprechaun Zip is just some really good weed, you know. Oh yeah, he's about to be paranoid. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you, man? This never ends well. Here, take it. Like by the way, by the way, hey, uh, uh, massive, massive fan of you during COVID. Thank you so Your much. Your COVID-19 quarantine, show. Quarantine. Did you know what that was like? Because did just one day you pressed live, you went fucking nuts, and then because it, it was a thing. Yeah, know? I really honestly just just did it out of nowhere. It wasn't really supposed to really be some fucking wild shit. I was really I really was trying to call this nigga named Mid Jordan. Is is uh <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's my creative director. Okay. And I was really just trying to call him and tell him like, yo, let's do a fucking sound clash. Like I'll, I'll pick my best like white songs of the 90s and you pick your best white songs of the 90s. And we're going to have like a white song fucking fest. What is a white like song? Like a fest? sound clash. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. What is like, white what song? Is, like you is... pick your best white pop songs. I pick oh. my best white pop songs of the 90s and we see who picked the best white pop songs of the 90s. Okay. Like it was just something we was doing and then it ended up being... Like I did it, I did that, and then Bryson Tiller called me, and then Bryson was like, "All right, let's go R and B," and then we did R and B, and then it didn't. A bunch of people just started. Call, it was like this weird thing, and it just started turning into this. And you did it every night, right? Nah, we did it every other day. Yeah, like every other day. Sometimes we wait like three days, and then like there was really only like fifteen episodes of it. If you really actually think of it, it really wasn't as long. You as set records, like record numbers, right? Yeah, we was at like I think. 350 something K. That's Because it got wild on there. There was like that's chicks wild. dancing. It was like fucking nuts. Chicks dancing, pouring milk on themselves. And wild it was all wild. How did you get that wild? It was, like, what the fuck? I don't know. I think quarantine was just, you know, did fucking that, like, with people's brain. Did that like blow up your like, Insta like, followers bro, even a yeah, lot? Yeah, a lot. Like, what bro, did that like, do to like your social media presence I, even? I basically, when I had got, uh, right when the pandemic started, I was at 5 million followers. Mm -hmm. And I got another five million during quarantine. What? Uh, five bro. million? Yeah, I got another five million bro, followers during quarantine. Did you ever see the show? Quarantine. No, of five course I million. saw it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I went from five. I had five point one, and then I went to ten point one. You know what I'm saying? Holy. So yeah, like it. It did a lot for my shit. It did a lot for my shit, and a whole bunch of new like fans and people who just didn't know me for having like all this like character and being charismatic and shit like that. You think that's like almost just important now? I don't want to say just important. Obviously the music's important, but like I feel like that's one thing that like some artists you either have or you don't have like when it's knowing how to market yourself. Like um, I feel like you've always been dope at marketing yourself, but do you feel like some artists they're just fire, but they just have no idea what the fuck they're doing on the yeah, business side? To be honest with you, you know, you know, I manage myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a manager. Um, I don't all. have, no. You know, I have people that I work with. I have a, a team of people that I've hired for different things. And 
we are all together like the, the umbrella, but I don't have a manager. I do everything by myself. And so the one thing that I've realized that's always taken me further and always kept me relevant was the way I market myself, was always being in front of people's faces, always knowing the next thing to do and um, being able to to be versatile in that space of marketing. A lot of people, they have the talent, they have the look, they have the skill, they got everything, but they just not marketing themselves right. Like it doesn't matter what I sell or what I'm marketing. Like I could sell or market salt to a slug. I could, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I could, I could, I could sell anything to anybody because I know how to market. You know what I'm saying? And and when it comes down to my music, it already being good. It's like I don't got to do too much marketing, but if I do do my marketing, I know my music stands for it too. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one thing they got to think about because it's like it's all about social media now. Mm -hmm. So like you could have the most fire music and like unless you get recognized by a label, which is probably tough, right? Like you got to yeah. fuck you got to figure out a way to like make people see your shit, right? Like that you got to get same, creative. Bro, like you got to remember it's it's a lot of people doing what you're doing or or, or what the next guy is doing, and so you got to kind of just be like fuck what everybody else is doing. I want to do some innovative shit and try shit that like no one's done before. And if it works, it's going to really work because no one does it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's how I kind of look like, at Like didn't you, you started out doing a lot of like remixes and covers and shit. Like not covers, remixes, right? Or not? Remixes, uh, freestyles on people's beats. Um, anything that I could do. But your remixes have really popped. Like Yeah, definitely, definitely. Controller. Mm -hmm, that was a big one. Controller. Um, what else did you do? There's like... I can't think off the top of my head. I haven't. I got the keys. I got the keys. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of different ones. Like there was a time when I used to just do um one verse, one hearse. And it was just like a tape full of just whatever song was popping and me just doing remixes to it. So who's your you know? favorite guy to be in the studio with? Mm, I like to work with Chris, Chris Brown a Chris lot. Brown? Yeah, we got like a million songs, but like that's my dog. Like he's he's like an alien, like how I'm an alien. Like we work mad fast. Like I like to work with people who um, just have a lot of ideas and just they don't got no ego really like that. You feel me? Like we just we just both know we here to make good music. You know what I'm saying? You so, look up to him a lot, like coming up for sure. Yeah. It's Chris Brown, man. Know. Like you know what I'm saying? Like who else? Like, you know, uh, Chris Brown. I look up to a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> you know, of course, you know we all came up uh, listening to Drake. You know, we came up listening to The Weekend, and you know, um. Just like as far as like my peers and people that I, you know, little baby, little Dirk, of course. And, you know, it's, 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 it's the people that are on the top. You you always look at, you always look at their formula and look at how they do it. You know what I'm saying? And you kind of just admire from afar. That's it. You know? So what's your relationship with Drake? Would that's you that's my dog. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, been somebody who's always treated me like family, you know, shown me love. Um, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like when we're in America, I kind of look at like they whole camp, like, like they they like our cousins, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like cousins from somewhere else, you know. Speaking on Drake, Life like what do you nice. what do you think about like the Toronto rap scene? Like one thing I always see, like I see all the artists on Six Buzz, like they're always they're posting so many people. Shout out I to feel Bram. like what's that? I'll say shout out to Bram and Six Buzz. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> um, um No, nah, I think I think honestly, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of music coming from Toronto a lot of rappers come from Toronto however you know I get to saying this guy and that guy is a lot of politics so you know uh um, who do you who do you fuck with most like who's like a few people you honestly I'm on? really focused on my brothers right now you know what I'm saying um there's a there's this there's a kid named Yoko Gold that I had on uh the Daystar project and honestly musically like this dude is retarded like you know what I'm saying and like just hearing the music that comes out of it it's like imagine like having Frank Ocean Coldplay and Kanye in one person like you know what I'm saying it's like the music sounds like that and just hearing it and just hearing it, it's like I'm inspired by it so I gotta shout out to Yoko Gold as somebody that's you know doing big things in Toronto and also uh Hollywood Sos Sos is going crazy it's one of my favorite rappers from the city right now and I'm waiting on this dude named Wolfgang Wolfgang's Super, super crazy. Was super it tough cold, to like, you to like get out of that scene? Like, how did you initially get your first? Like, how did you get reached out to by like, like the record label or like whoever you signed with? Um, damn, that's a good question. Uh, I had I had this project called Lost Cause, and um, basically when I did Lost Cause, 
Lost Cause had this record called Godfather, and it also had this record called Henny in Hand, where if you ever go listen to those songs, like they're like so different. The Henny in Hand was, uh, it was like this high falsetto. <laughs> nigga slumped. Yeah, he's slumped. Yeah, he's slumped. He slumped. He slumped. It was slumped. He's really slumped. Huh? He's actually slumped over. Nah, I mean, he's cool. Yeah. What's the weed called again? Black Leprechaun. Yeah, I didn't, wanna, I didn't know what the rules that? are. Wait, 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 but, you but, do you mind if I hit that again? Is that? We go ahead. Can I, I just don't know the rules. Yeah. So basically, actually, this is uh, this is my strain. Oh, for uh, real? Yeah, yeah. And and it's actually Delta Eight. It's not even Delta Nine. So basically, you know, all the weed that we smoke today is like THC, whatever. Blah 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 blah. This is actually derived from hemp. So it doesn't actually get you. It doesn't get you the type of high that you're like, yo, fuck, I can't function and I don't want to. You see how you yeah, were like, yeah, I feel great. I wouldn't feel, yeah, I feel That's about to say, good. you see yeah, how you were like, really I honestly good. feel I'm like a brand tell you, new fucking guy. Black Leprechaun is, the, is I'm telling you, this is going to take over the world. Blackleprechaun.com, get all your needs and necessities there. But like, you know, um, Black leprechaun duck. Sounds like fucking meth for well, a little no, bit. I'm but not even Joe, listen to me. Yes, is, but it doesn't bro. feel like it. <laughs> no, listen to me. I'm actually feeling content. I feel usually great. I get paranoid. As I usually fuck. get usually get, I get I've been getting fried these days. I used to smoke so much, I stopped, and then I just get. I heard you. Now. I heard you used to rip like morning bowls and stuff. I used to shred bowls, man. That's Word. Cool. But then I just you took a break, and then I just I don't know. I get so fried. But I, this is this hit me nice. Do you smoke? You smoke a lot of weed? Yeah. Um. For me. You know, I'm an avid weed smoker, but I realize that sometimes I'm smoking so much weed in a day that it can start making me really lazy and stuff like that. And so, like, you know. Go, Charlie. Come here, Papa. Mr. Zip? Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna keep going with this black black leprechaun. The black so, leprechaun. I'm jamming. This is good weed, by the way. It really is. I, I mean, we little... got to do whatever the, the guest every week wants us to do, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm if getting a little weed. too high now, though. Yeah, I've never been, the, I've never been this relaxed here. in my life. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, but I'm, there's no way the black, black, black leprechaun doesn't Black leprechaun is, 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 is why we all feel this way. Now, is wow, blackleprechaun.com <laughs> active right now? Can we go to blackleprechaun.com yes. and buy weed? <laughs> yes. Are you, you kidding can me? Actually go in what? In, like, right anywhere now. in America? You can go to Black Leprechaun and buy this your is, cannabis right now. And I can feel like this every day? Every day. Wow. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. going to Black Leprechaun. This is what you call Please. sleep. <laughs> Got it. Yo, boys, we owe Tori one. Go go buy some Black Leprechaun. Black Leprechaun Yo, so is high. literally... Try it out. It's great. Let like, us know what gonna... you think. Wait a minute. It's turning on me. I think it's turning on me a little it's bit. It's not. Don't it's worry. not? All right, thanks. Don't worry. You'll be I think you're thinking about fly. your girl. That's what it is. You'll be Shut super Shut the fuck fly. up, Salim. <laughs> you're a fucking dick. Salim's a dick. My girl, I was dating her for four fucking weeks. What happened? Happy as ever. And then out of nowhere, she dropped it. She, she said, I can't she do this anymore. It. Sorry, I want to ask you your opinion. I said, I'm going to see Tory Lanez. Like, oh, I'm out. So, Bob, I always tell him, I don't think it's a good strategy, but every girl he meets, like if he meets her in a bar or some shit, he instantly stories her and tags her on his story. Bad decision. Like he, start, he starts clouding her up like right away. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, please let me have my minute. And he thinks it's a good strategy. Let and Bob, hear, listen. Let me hear. Let's hear. Yeah, let's hear. When, your strategy. Somebody, ask, behind this? when somebody fucking asks me, are you mad that, you know, you only can get pussy because, you know, you tag them on the Internet? And I said, no, it's just fair game. It's, I think it's just I don't give a I fuck. think it gets you temporary pussy. But then yeah, the, the long term like, has not. The, worked. It's not a long term play. But well, if you want to right? do it just to smash them, but then what yeah, is, do it. What's happening when you're tagging them in my brain? No, in, on, in real life. In real life, getting, like, just followers, be anywhere. Like, people be at a bar, to them. like, woo, here's the thing. Is, like, like, what's happening on their end of the of the Instagram? Like, is our people coming to them being like, yo, you no. know No, so that's the bro, thing. Since he's the, done it, since you've done it yo, so much, yeah. the girls don't gain anymore. So they, they go to their shit. page and bro, they're swiping. listen to me, though. They're refreshing and they're like, I am a wait, master. I only gained like, gain like 12 followers. <laughs> like, I'm a master. <laughs> I have the best move of all time. So you don't have to do it because you walk somewhere in and they know who you are. Like, I'm kind of like, what's the move? What's the move? The move is fucking this, guys. Listen closely. You fucking take out your phone, right? You see two chicks, beautiful girls. Right don't there. do that. Listen to Salim. this. Oh, I got this. Is, this. Listen, listen, to this. Right listen, to Salim, listen to this. This is the fucking play. I'm sitting by myself at a bar, okay? I'm chilling, having a drink. There's two smoking hot chicks across the way. Okay, what do I do? I take out my cell phone, I pan. I'm like, well, having a great time here at fucking Frank's bar, whatever, blah, blah. And I catch their face for like three seconds, but I keep panning. And then I go like <laughs> this. Listen to me. Then I go, boom. I send it out to the world. I sit back, I order a drink, within fucking three minutes, well, that thing is them. going. 
And it's from some, it's, and then they're locked in. They're like, who the fuck is this guy? Their phone's. No, you didn't explain it well, properly. How does it, how does it get, so, how do you know? So it since gets, COE says he pans by their face. Mm -hmm. So once he posts that, since he has like a lot of guy fans, his guy fans will see the girls' faces in their story and they'll, he'll, the, the fans will DM the girls and be like, you're in Bob Menery's yep. story right now. It is deadly. And then they go Deadly. up to him and say, "Yo, yo that, like you just smart. put me in your." That's but again, like you psycho have to be shit. like a D-list celebrity. Is you know, you crazy. don't even have to do that. It's like, no, bro, you, how man, do you, how you not gonna lie? That's pretty how do you damn think funny. of that? Yeah, listen, listen, a lot more where that came from. A lot more. <laughs> I got a bunch of them. Isn't that the wildest I, shit ever? Yo, I can't do that. I can't do that. Bro, I have... I cannot lie. That's you yo, that, that, that like, low-key, though, it makes sense. Yo, where you going, man? Bro, it makes sense. Wait, nah, man. Wait, my, I'm almost done, man. Wait, what is he fuck, taking man? the black leprechaun? Wait, is that... That cannot be the black... The my, black leprechaun nah, cannot my, leave. No, no, that's my engineer. Oh, sorry. Have you ever... Oh, thought, sorry. Have uh, you ever Tori, Tori. Yo, tell Mike not to leave, bro. He thinks that I'm going to be in this interview for an hour. He doesn't realize that we... No, we're popping out soon. We're very sorry. We know your time is... Nah, you're good, bro. Very, very important. We apologize. Mr. Lane. I got to make sure I'm able to record after this shit. We apologize. You've been a stand-up man so far. We appreciate it. All love, man. What do you think? You think that's like... I personally think, Bob, you should stop tagging because it's long term. It doesn't work. They come for the wrong reasons. And then you're always, I don't like to see my boy hurt. You know? I mean, we should, I see ask, the, we should well, ask that's the how it goes. Pussy. We have him right here. <laughs> so wait, what's the question? <laughs> Do you think it should be I, yeah. instantly clouding up these chicks or yes, just keep it I'm off social for I'm a having bit. fun. It sounds like it's working for him. Have you ever done working. that? Working. You know? Have you ever done that? Not in that capacity. Bro, he's an A list celebrity. I've never been smart enough I'm, to I'm think about that. I mean, like, there could be a girl that, yeah, there could be a girl that's so beautiful that's like, wow. I'm just going to go up and say, bro, just capture that face, send it out there, and hopefully you have a that, supporting artist. I'm not going to lie, but I believe in, like, walking up and saying something. No, I do that too. You know? Yeah, yeah I mean, like yeah. girls love confidence. Like they love when a nigga just show. I don't know you know about what I'm saying? That. When you just yeah, yeah. pull up, like, yo, what up? You know? Girls love it. Like, cause a lot of a lot of times, you know, I feel like some girls they put on their best outfit, they put on their best dress, and it's like not enough people tell them like, yo, you looking good. Like, I think you know a lot what of saying? guys nigga, tell like, them. They, they want somebody to come to them like, yo, you looking good. You know what I mean? Like. It's that self-assurance, like yeah, he's for sure. Got some game. I don't. I think a lot of guys game? tell them. I think a lot of guys tell. So what do you What are you saying when you? I don't say anything. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it just comes to. I mean, you know. It's Salim like, yeah. wheels though. Don't yeah. don't talk yourself down. You well, wheel. yeah. I mean, I do. I mean, I got a girlfriend. Yeah, sometimes right it goes to this dark okay. hole. I, I got okay. a girlfriend right now. She's. I love her. You know, she's a very beautiful woman. But you know, before that, let's be honest. Right now, Black, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Girl. I'm not approaching a woman in the club. <laughs> Not, I'm not gonna lie though. In the club is not really the best time. Yo, this no, guy's it's leprechaun. Loud. I can't do it. You're, you know, you're all up in the girl. They're like, yo, what? Yo, not yo. even in a bar. Not even in a bar because I already know they're bougie. So, so, so they you got a like, nice outfit. So you feel like any girl that you meet in the bar has got to be bougie. Yeah, I mean, like if they're <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> no, but no, 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 no. Tell me this. Tell me. This. I want. I want you. I want to really know this from you. You see a girl, right? She's ordering a drink, right? She's pretty as hell. Like, okay, yeah. I, I'd definitely approach her if I wanted to. Yeah. You're not going to approach the girl. I mean, like, there's millions. What? Do you know the fuck you're talking to? Do you see this Look, guy? No, no, no. I, I know this from your position, fucking... your position. Now, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. I've been me, on both, I've me, been on both sides ugly of the spectrum. No, I, as an ugly... Cause I know I've <laughs> no, it's you know it's Slim. It's okay. No, tell I, I'm yeah, there too. Yeah, Cause I look, I look at myself as ugly. You know, I'm an ugly dude. Like I think I, ain't I do. Lie, bro. I I paired some girls up with some uglier guys. No, it's not even about pairing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you know, I, 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 you, you'll be fine, man. No, you know I don't. I don't. You I got all your teeth. No, you know? no, cause look, <laughs> pairing is more of like whoa. All right. Because I'm, I'm pairing this. for the night, you know? No, it's not it's pairing. Not. I want it to pairing be... for the night. By no. the way, deadly fucking team right here. No, no, no. Deadly. No, I'm, I'm being really honest. Like, I want it to be like, yo, she wants me. I don't want some guy to pair me with her. Like, you know what I mean? I understand. Understandable. Understandable. I, you know understandable. what I mean? Because it's like, okay, you're fucking this. You're messing with this guy. Cause when I this. say pair, I, I just mean like I do the initial introduction and then it's got to take Well, off. I mean, yeah, it's you know, still floating. Salim, you're that guy in a one night stand. Like, you want to feel like loved. Like, you yeah, don't even I care want, about just. No, I want aggression. You want to feel like the girl loved you for you a want night. Aggression? I, I want the woman to say, yo, I want to fucking. Suck your Yo, penis uh, right now. Tori, I mean, like, Tori, you Tori I know your honest. schedule's like busy. Would you maybe like one amazing. night take Slim under your wing? No, it's not. Yeah, no, 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 no. I feel like I have to. Will you no, take no, no, you no. have to? I'm it, serious. It, it, it's not that at all. I'm just being really honest. Like, I, you know, I want 
the woman to come to me first. You know, what happened. You, you want to be direct. I understand. I understand. Men are supposed to do it, but at the same time, bro, girls come on. You me want all it to the be time. direct. No, no, they do. But I want them to say, "Hey, I want to take you to the bathroom and fucking suck your dick." That's what I want. Jesus Christ. That's what I want. That's what I want. I mean, when no, well, so yeah. Do I. Well, when so do I. I think we all well, want that. Well, 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 and you know that you don't have to really initiate right when you're in the hotel room and you're ready to fucking smash. That's the thing. I'm Because all these women are trying to like, ah, oh, it's that. Nah, you got to show me that you want me. So you're you know, saying. Because I'm the prize. You're saying that That's when you get to the hotel. <laughs> you're saying that when you I can you see you saying that to, your, your, to yourself in the mirror. You're like, I'm the you prize. You teach him the fucking no, game. No, because I am. You have bro, the fucking I, God sitting next to you, pussy. Let him teach no, you the game. No, and no. And I, 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 I really, truly feel what he's saying. I mean, I understand. It's like you just want a girl to be direct. But I think that you might just have to change the 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 spectrum of girls that you're hanging around with. Maybe you got to hang out with more strippers and girls who are just you like really going to so? tell you the straight up and down, like, the fuck are you doing? You hit the strip club like, a lot, Tori? Yeah, I'm trying to stop. I can't. Yeah, what's no. the most you've ever thrown stop. in a strip club? They know what's up. That's what I. Was I think the most we've ever thrown. I was with Ray one night, and um, well, where where were we? I want to say it was New York. It was it was somewhere. In, it was either New York or Miami. One night we threw forty thousand, but that's Damn. Wait, wait, so what, wait, hold on. It was like when it was like we were throw the forty thousand. We where does it go? Celebrating some. When you throw the forty thousand, where does it go? On the floor, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> what? The ceiling <laughs> goes on the floor. The ceiling, the floor. But like, it, like, bro, when you go talk to like some people, like one time, you know, I'm talking to Drake one time, and uh, we having a conversation, and he's telling me about. You know, just going into the strip club and he's like having this casual conversation with me. And he's like, yeah, you know, so it was, you know, it was a light night, bro. You know, and one day, you know, I go to the, I go to the strip club, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I threw like a hundred, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing crazy, you know, but then, you know, then these other guys walked in there and they, and they threw 30,000 and they just made it look like they threw a hundred, you know? <laughs> and they didn't really throw a hundred, you know? Like, like I was throwing a hundred on my light night, like, you know? And like, you know, like, and I'm sitting here like, this nigga's rich. <laughs> this nigga's up, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But nah, for me, like, that was a, that was still a stretch for me. Like, 40,000 is in a strip club is 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 really stupid, honestly. We yeah, was yeah. just, we was, <laughs> Not a good we was really just celebrating. We were celebrating, bro. Is there like battles and, and shit in the strip club? Like, yeah, between bro, like squads? It gets deep, dog. Money wars. <laughs> like, it's like some Star Yo, Wars bro, shit. Bro, I'm in the telling you, it, it was like, it, it'd be times like when it's some niggas across from you. And then it's it's you and yours and like like and then it's just girls in the middle and they're just like yo, who's gonna win this one? It's a lot of chains over here. It's they know their value. Yeah. There's, and then yeah, and then they're... sometimes what it really is, it has nothing to do with us like actually throwing money on the strippers. It's really just like an ego battle between you and the nigga looking at you. It's That'd like, be the funniest show. I seen this nigga on the club. strip club. club. Like money. Let's see if he's really money in the strip club. Let's see. Imagine let's a sh see. Like, like a show, you know, strip club. Yo, wars. Kyle, I think uh, would you mind Tori? Next uh, uh, three months, I know your schedule is busy. Will you throw money in the club with Salim and get him pussy? Yeah, I could throw money. L listen, I, uh, I I can make that happen. Can you make that happen? No, I I'll, I'll throw my own. I'm I'm just we'll talk that talk. yeah. Talk I'm that talk. Talk. And I'm wow. just saying, talk that no, talk. No, I I'm making a real question for you. Like like for real, have you ever fell in love with a stripper? Um, no, but I'll tell you this: a lot of my like good friends. And like girls that are still around in my life to this day are were strippers or are strippers or they're the most girls who work in the nightclub. I'm not gonna just say strippers are the girls who work in the nightclub are very down to earth. They're That's very like true. we yeah, deal with I, so I, many yeah. people Bro, that I'm just sick of the bullshit. I've talked to one stripper. And so before. like a lot of my yeah. good friends, like just because my life is so fast and the amount of people that yeah. they see is so fast and their life is so fast as well, it's like they relate to artists in such a different way because it's just like, oh, look, bro, we go through the same shit. We're around drugs, music, and money just like you are. You know what I'm saying? We're just here 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Like, getting it in. Like, you know what I mean? So, there's nothing wrong with stripping. Sh now that I nothing think about it, stripping, like, strippers you know are actually usually, like, pretty fucking nice people. No, they're, they're really nice. I've actually talked to one of them about my mother. Um, one time. 
What the fuck? <laughs> All right, yeah. It's like no, I mean, no, no, no. It was just, it was just. Yeah, the black leopard. Your mom's how you say? No, no. no. Oh, uh, she just asked me how my parents were doing. Great. No, she just asked me how my it. parents were doing. I, I mean, I don't really speak to my father, but uh, yeah, I just said, yeah, my mother's a very sweet person. You know, she cooks really good Ethiopian food, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, then else, yeah. Well, fuck with that. Yeah, I mean strippers are. I mean, I w- sorry to call them strippers or anything, but like, you know, they're very attractive women. Uh, strippers are great, man. I yeah, mean, I mean, dancers, right. earn a little dancers, Let's call them dancers, all right? Like, you know, what I'm saying call them dancers, call them uh, dancers, and you know, entertainers. Yeah, you know, from for adult entertainers. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like regardless, um, whether or not you strip or whatever the case is, one thing I will tell you is like, you will also find women who work at the strip club that at the end of the day their aspirations are not to be a stripper like you know there's there's women who work at the strip club that you might never never know that they ever worked there mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and you might fall in love with one of those ones like you know what i'm saying yeah, like, yeah. because they went a few times. for that one for that one month when when you know shit was a little hard and they went for that one month and went out of state and went out of town and was like, all right, <laughs> I got to get this bag up right quick in this little gentleman's club that nobody knows and no one's going to ever know that I did this at. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, we fall in love with those girls every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 really like, you know, you you know, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Different strokes for different folks. You know? What's your craziest? You've been throwing like a lot of house parties I see on your sh- your stories and shit. Hell who yeah. like who like pulls up to those? Like who's some people that have Yo, ever Yo, shout up? out to Madi. And Kelly and, and 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 everybody who helps with those parties because it's not easy to put those shits together. Nah, I'm dying. It's it's easy for us. But like we just <laughs> we just like really like to like have fun and we like for people to have an experience. Like every time we do something or we do um an event or a pop up is like we we really just take the time to just think about how people are going to look at this when they're drunk. Like that's the biggest <laughs> that's really like my main thing. Like when I'm like when we're planning some shit, I'm like, yo how are motherfuckers going to look at this like when we're, like when they're drunk? Like, it's just like, we need mermaids in the pool and we need da 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 and like, just wild shit. Like, you know, we think of that shit and we just Who gets like functions. invited to this party? Like, who gets invited? Everyone's been to my parties, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? At some point, whether or not it was like at a, some point in your career when you was low or you was high, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Chris Brown's been in my party, little baby. Like you oh, know, it's a lot of people been there. Like tough you know, what I'm saying like tough guest list. It's like it's, <laughs> it's, it's tough, tough guest list. Somebody at my shit. Think maybe I could slide my way in to this party one nah, time. But no. Yeah, no, as a matter of fact, you've come to one of the parties. Time before. ago, nope, was it? Yeah, yeah, y'all. How was that experience? How did you guys meet? Fuck, I guess we were like that. Must have been like four years. It ago, was like five, five, years, yeah, five ago. years ago. Uh, we were like way smaller. We saw Tori was like having a party and. In Miami, and we were in Orlando too. We were like, bro, these three guys hours away. That's totally. We spammed six buzz. We told wow. them. And they we said some shit and posted it somewhere, and all of a sudden, fucking thousands of people. Yo, <laughs> make sure the Nelk boys get to the party. Make sure that yo, if you don't let the Nelk boys in, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna. It's like, yo, who the fuck are these Nelk boys? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck are these? That's funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but then we got in. But you got yeah, it's lit. Yeah. Okay. You, they, these guys get it's insane. They get fucking mobbed. Nah, you go out with them, there's two hundred fucking fourteen year old fucking boys running around chasing them. Yeah, so, yeah. You got it's insane. That's how it is? How do you handle all that shit? Do you like the when people come up to you and they ask? Do you cool with that? Well, there's not fourteen year old boys chasing me. I, well, I'm well aware of that. I get <laughs> it. Just, but do you get like girls crying and shit? Wow, yeah. that must be I feel amazing. Like, what? I, get a lot of that. I feel like that would be I get that a lot. weird. That'd be I get amazing. That a lot. I get that a lot more often than you would think. I think that's like, like I complain really about it, but like. How do you deal with that? Like, just like stop crying. Like, no, nah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when someone when when a, when a girl starts crying and shit because they're just like overwhelmed. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I just be like, come here, <laughs> like come here, bro. It's all good. And like, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes oh it's just God. like you know, like it it just like I know that this moment must mean something to you. So it's like, all right, well, embrace me and just embrace the moment. Like, you feel me? You got. I gotta give you credit. Like, you got a lot of swag. You got swag. Like, you got you, he's got yeah, fucking yeah, comments. Yeah, like, you go against, you. Imagine there's one girl and it's 
between yeah, me I'm and him. Yeah, I'm not leaving Toyer. Yeah, I can't. Him. You're on a different. You're nah, a different nah, league. Definitely not. Nah, bro. Don't worry about Salim, it. Salim, you're, I'll let you're you the fucking this minor. Man, you're the going. fucking safest guy to leave around your girl, man. <laughs> Brother, listen to me. Yeah, I, try, I trust all, my girl. I'm just low key about my pussy. I'm low key. I don't even make. You can babysit my girl for a week. I get my pussy. I'm in and out. Sealed. He's in and out. Pussy's pussy at the end of the day. I mean, it's like Salim, you ain't even listen to me. You who's getting more pussy? Is he listen to me? Please. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say from all three of us. No, Kyle's out the running. You know Kyle. Exactly. No, that's what I was going to start with. No, no, no. Kyle, no, no, no. I got no. this motherfucker I started Kyle. I'm this motherfucker rock and I'm giving you, you a run you for your money. You got me wrong? Who's getting the most pussy? No, Honestly, Kyle, no, I Kyle, say, no, Kyle, no, Kyle's nah. a charmer. Yeah, tra- Kyle's You're a charmer. You're a charmer, bro. No, no, no. You always sell no. yourself short. No, I mean, yeah, I like to love him. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, I sweet talk him sometimes, Uh, but I feel like Kyle's more of like, you know. Have you ever fallen in love with like a one night stand? Yeah, every like, night. Yeah, I'd every say, night. I'd actually Literally. say like probably like eight or nine times. You text all your one. I go lie. Yeah, like, I yeah. can envision him just like, drunk as fuck four in the morning with some girl. Like, oh, bro, I mean, oh, like, oh, I love her. <laughs> I mean, I, may, I mean, maybe, I, maybe I, maybe I hit her right that night. I mean, like, you know maybe. what I mean? I'm, I'm a crazy guy. You know, I mean, I want to like, I want to do it on the, I want to do it everywhere. Like, What's your you know body I mean? counseling? I don't know. I, I mean, since starting with Nelk. I mean, well, before Nelk, we knew it was zero. Oh, before Nelk, it was one girl. Uh, I fought, I mean, I had sex with her. Uh, Sweet. Very, you know, uh, I met her at Ralph's, actually. Um, and then I had sex with her. Uh, I went to, like, a club. I had sex with her with the, at a house that I, I wasn't even living in. It was, like, uh, it, was, it was like a friend's house or some shit. But uh, after, and then with Nelk, right? I, I mean, we all, we did this tour, right? We went to Florida, Louisiana, Texas. We went everywhere, right? Slamming girls, you know what I mean. Texas was pretty hard. I mean, there was a lot of hot blondies there, but it was uh, it was pretty tough. And then I I started to I started to realize like my worth in Florida. You know, I wanted to. Yo, I chilling it all Guys, day. Guys, that's it's the floor. amazingly <laughs> funny, bro. No, 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 no. I mean, with I mean with women, I, I'm very interested in women because it's like you know it's all different. You know, cause sometimes I want chocolate. You know, sometimes I want vanilla. Some sometimes. You know, sometimes this I want the strawberry. Third hit of black leprechaun. I just want y'all to know. Love the black he leprechaun. first started out and grabbed the blunt and was like, "This never goes right. Take it from me." Same. Now he asks for the third hit, black leprechaun. Black leprechaun. Dot com. Stop playing with us, man. Yeah, I mean, look, listen, like fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, can I touch that? There you go. No, I mean, like you know, fall in love. You know, I think it's more about how the sex went. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Nah, bro. I What's completely feel you, bro. I think it's. I, I, I mean, if you're fucking her good, you like because you could give the girl. You can hold out. You know what I'm saying? And then no, talk uh, about your body. Few hundred. We're talking about your body count. Yeah. Nah, that shall not be mentioned on this show. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we are however, cutting however, a commercial however, break. Never gonna get, get white. You trying to give me a job? Uh, what I'll say is this, though. I think I got. I think I got you beat. You do. Trust me. I got fifty max. I feel. What do you like? You think no? You, you yeah. have me beat, man. You are the pussy machine. No, I, all I'm saying is uh, you are the pussy. Congrats, machine, bro. Man. This guy is. No, I'm, <laughs> you made it. Right, let's then. all guess Kyle's body count. Ah, that's a lie. I feel like. I mean, I don't. I I'm not trying to. I don't keep track of it. I, 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 I'd say a hundred. Uh, I'd say two hundred. I don't. I'd like yeah, a hundred or so. I don't no, know. Kyle, I mean, Kyle's a, he's a I don't know. Guy. I mean, uh, fuck. I don't know. I think you know a nigga's really fucking. He's out here fucking. Well, I mean, he got sweat. Look what he's so, wearing right you know. now. Look, Balenciaga. He got the Jordan ones. Oh, this guy's looking fresh, man. I came prepared, bro. Yeah, he's coming prepared. I came you know? prepared. Nah, yeah. Should we try and get some pussy in LA tonight? I'm I'm single now. I just don't know. Do you guys want to? I'm not single. I really um. Don't. Yeah, I'm not succeeding in that tonight. Yeah, sorry, this interview steered off a little bit. We <laughs> wanted to talk about your career. Apologies. <laughs> Didn't get to that today. This is good, though. Uh, but uh, it's been a great uh, conversation on the couch. 1,000%. Uh, couch convo. You're a gentleman. You're a gentleman and a uh, scholar. We appreciate your, your time. I'm, I don't, I'm cutting the interview because, honestly, the black leprechaun is taking a turn. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. I, all I'm saying is, at the starting of this interview, you passed the blunt, and you said, this never goes right. Then you came back and hit this blunt three so, three more times after that. You trying mm-hmm. to cut the interview like a little blackleprechaun.com. Stoned as fuck or what? No, that no, that weed is actually like it's nice. Perfect. I mean it is. It's pretty good. Uh what do you work what are you working on right now? Are you working on anything? Uh albums um, or music? 
Well, I don't know when this is going to drop, but I got this NFT, uh, this ENFT uh, project that's about to drop, the first ever unreleased um, musical album. So how does that work? Because I feel like I've never seen that before. Well, the first time I did an NFT, it was in, I want to say December or some sometime last year or maybe at the starting of this year. I can't remember. It's kind of shifted in my mind, whether it was January or before that. But basically, the first time I did it, I sold um, three pieces of art and three songs that were unreleased at the time. And um, I made 500000 in 90 seconds. And then what the, they, the, there was only a limited amount, and we sold them for 700 or 700 and then another one for like 500 or 400 And they made that amount. And then the resale value... Somebody bought it for seven hundred. and It was reselling for thirty four thousand the next week. Oh, Damn, like you get what I'm saying? Crazy. Is it available to get like? No, I couldn't even buy it. Like it was sold out so fast that I couldn't even buy one of my own copies of wow. like of that first NFT. So when I did it, it's like basically it's a space where people buy, and it's kind of like stocks for creative property and like dope shit that somebody's done or dope shit that somebody's you know, created, like, you know, so... It's like a new way to just put out art. Like. Yeah, and put out your own art. Like, yo, if I feel like... Remember, Logan Paul fucking sold a Pokemon card on an NFT and made $6 million off of it, off of a holographic Charizard. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think, just this space is totally different and it's full with people that just like to buy shit. It's not about, is this music the best music or is this the greatest piece of art? It's just like, nah, I want a piece of this history. Maybe what do you, you have? You got saying? exclusive rights to it. So if I buy it, I mean, yeah. I own it. But it's like a. Is it? What is it? You own it. It's like a. You win and and because it's normally, on your wallet. Normally, there's you, only a certain yeah. amount of them made. So you would own it, and it only is you. You know, you have your own way of viewing it. Of course, you they they can you can make it physical if you want. However, it's just like you have your own kind of way of just owning it. And you can put your, like, put it back on the market anytime you want. You can resell, resell it for it anything you that you want to sell it for. However. It's just like you'll always find a common price that someone's selling it for at the time, but the shit just keeps getting higher. It's like an auction. What's have, you, have you seen so like people is. reselling your shit? Like yeah, so your I'm music saying, so NFTs? Like, imagine like, what's I it sold, been like? I sold one NFT at seven hundred dollars, and then imagine me looking at it the next week and seeing it selling for thirty four thousand. That's what this. That's what it scaled that's up to. That's what an NFT is. NFTs is something that you know it gets bought and then it gets auctioned off in this whole space of crypto buyers and people that you know wow. are buying. It's crazy. You know, There's a lot of money in this wow. show. Huh? There's a lot of money. You Do you know, have like an NFT right now that we could just pump the fuck out of and maybe be like, we'll take, I'll take 10% of it, but we'll drive the fuck out of it. I would drop a black leprechaun. No, but here's the oh, thing. Yo, black leprechaun gets me going. Check this out. Here's the thing, right? It's like this, man. If you guys, if you guys, basically, I, I'm selling this first, this NFT right now for $1. So imagine this is like a stock of Tory, if you want. To, if you will, I'm selling this for one dollar. You get seven songs and seven pieces of art with that one dollar. It's only one million copies made. I know for a fact that in the NFT space, I'm very lethal because I know for my first NFT, I'm very lethal. Like, you know, it sold so fast. So I know that those million copies most likely will probably get sold. You know what I'm saying? Because people are going to buy them. When they're bought, the resale value is going to go up to something crazy let's yeah. say it goes up to 300 dollars, well, and the you bought 40 of them yeah you just spent 40 dollars, and then you made 300 dollars yeah. 40 times it's like buying stock like, you know yeah, 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 like, yeah. but now it's a this is yeah. now a way it's interesting this is actually it's crazy because what i did also create was uh uh with my team immersive is the first ever uh nft streaming platform so it's called enft and basically basically you're going to be able to listen to Whatever anybody puts in there. So imagine your favorite artist drops a project that only he's making only fucking 500 of them. And he's like, yo, each of these are a thousand each, but there's only 500 of them. You and those 500 people will take those and the thousand dollars will now change to, well, me and these 500 people are the only people with this. <laughs> I'm selling this shit for $10,000. You guys, I'm should, selling this for whatever I want. You, know? you should do like full send. Tory Lanez we NFT, have to like do that. you guys got to do it. And right now, I think, like, I think if we do, bro, it, we build the man right now. A, Boys, I'm get a dead ass. That comment right crazy. now if you want to see a full send Black Leprechaun uh, NFT. 
or whatever it may be, if you guys. That's enough. That, we'll, we'll, bro, we'll start no, talking about it. That'll be a fucking money maker right there because it's, or any kind of fucking full centauri lanes. Something fucking, like that. Yeah, let, yeah bro, you guys got to figure that out. One thousand percent. Yeah, that's, that's but, but this is the space for it. This is, bro. I, I saw somebody. I can't remember. I don't want to speak out of term. If it, I, I believe it was Beeple. Um, yeah, he does it like a lot. He shit, made right? sixty million yeah. off his NFT. Really. I'm starting the bidding at fifty thousand right now. I own it for fifty thousand. Whatever you guys work on together. You just want oh, nice. If you want to be, if you want to outbid me, good luck. Whatever you guys do, I'm opening bid. You're buying it. I'm starting the bid at fifty thousand. Start at whoever 100. wants to. I believe this stock is going through the moon, and that is as well. It is. So, um, I know. but we'll and, take the cash up front. That, <laughs> no, 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 because we're gonna fucking get the worth of this thing that's why i'm excited about this space because it's really actually about to be something that now allows a different level of artist to fan appreciation and fan to artist appreciation like you you sit here and spend money on our fucking music all day anyway right you sat as a consumer your apple music all that shit uh spotify all the, all these things you got to spend money in which we love we love music i spent my money on it i, I love apple music i love spotify yeah. however i spend my money on that stuff and when as an artist ever thought well how can i give back to people with the how can i give the money back to the person that's giving it to me how can I share the wealth? Yeah, you see artists, they do little give backs. They give turkeys on Thanksgiving. They do blah, 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 blah. What about really exponentially changing people's lives yeah. with the music that you make? I know that the music that I make is going to be of a high demand. So if the music that I'm making is going to be of a high demand, let me put it very low for my people to buy and only a certain amount so they can resell my music and they can make so much more money off of it because they're the only people with it. And my music is in such high demand that now me and this consumer of a thing, we have this thing where we've made money together. You've made money off of me and I've made money off of you. But you've also gained my music <laughs> exclusively to you. Bro, that might be fucking like revolutionary. In the yeah. It is. No, no, it's straight fun. up, yeah. It's over. Right. I, don't, I don't even know <laughs> what the that, fuck. I mean, it gives them the opportunity, just like like you said, to just support you and support you quick and actually get something dope, too. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I don't see and it's like, dog, imagine like you had fucking little baby stock right now. Imagine you had Drake stock right now. You had oh, Drake crazy. fucking, imagine you had, you had an nah. album of Drake's that was seven songs long. He gave it to you for $1 and only a million people have that album. How much do you think they're going to start reselling that album oh, for? It's crazy. I think you two make an NFT. I think what it goes for is ten million. That's my guess. Ten million is that the it's craziest small. thing? Is Drake, that too high? If if Drake comes to that platform right now, Drake could probably probably make fifty million. No, no, I ain't talking about Drake though. I'm talking about you two. Yeah, what do you? I mean, what do you I think got? it's ten million bucks. I think it's a hundred. Hundred NFT is different, bro. It's, really? This is a different space of different people. This is like real rich people i know, you know i, I used saying? to sell buffalo wild but wings it's also, on tv so but I'm also what i'm doing is now i'm now in a weird way robin hood or peter pan in, in a weird way because now what i'm doing is taking it not only to the rich people i'm allowing the people at the bottom who are with me you know what i'm saying the people just like me and you and everybody the people who are at the bottom and the people who at the end of the day know nothing about this i'm now taking them and putting them in a place where they can now get something for so cheap that will eventually because it's the be dollar, it's the dollar one that you yes. said. With the million so now I'm copies. like, nah, we all gonna get in here. Like it. Like Everybody's it. gonna get in here. Fuck that. You don't know crypto? Cool. Click this link. It's gonna be the easiest thing to open. Immersive wallet. Huh. <laughs> it's over. Done. You know? I, I believe you. <laughs> you know? I don't know nothing yeah. about crypto. But tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be the day that it drops. It's and I'm I'm expecting big things. You know, I know my last NFT was fucking huge. And so I'm expecting this to, to to be great. And and you know, I don't believe in ever setting my mind to do things that aren't disruptive or innovative. So me taking this chance and seeing if this works and da da da, I don't give a fuck. Like nigga, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do great because my mindset is great. And where do we get saying? the NFT? If we want to buy it when it drops, where do we get what's ENFT.com. EFT.com. And we just type yeah. in Tory Lanes. No, just enft.com. All right, I don't know. Right I'm now, learning. I'm just I'm saying, fucking like, learning, dude. I just, I, I, Jesus I just say, Christ, you know? I, trying to fucking my, help you here. I'm trying to bring this to the fucking moon. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> nah, you just go to ENFT. Um, everything should be there. Everything will show you how to how to do it. And, you know, hopefully by the time this comes out, like, you know, they're not all sold and you guys can buy some of my 
I th- music. I think it came out yesterday. I think the yeah. pre-sale. Yeah. The pre-sale dropped yesterday. But uh, well, t- t- the today project. is Wednesday. Actually, today's Wednesday. If you know? you're listening, oh probably. fuck, you guys. So it's probably live. So right, fucking, bro. we'll toss it in the it was description. Tuesday. So yeah. It was, so yeah, it was yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, my yeah. So it doesn't write for time. It was today. It'll be right under blacklepreconcom for definitely. Yo, that shit got me. Trying to tell you, man. We're up to tell you all about this black leprechaun shit, man. I love black leprechaun. We're gonna do the Nelk edition. That's the cool Let's thing about these little ha- uh, things here. Obviously, you want like career music, you want to talk. Just uh, we got high and just kicked it. I loved it. Yeah, I mean, that's how it's got to be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, um, that's how a lot of my 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 best relationships with people be. You know what I'm saying? We just sometimes just sit down and just kick it, talk, get the best thing out of a conversation like that. You know, hundred percent. Word. Glad you gave us the opportunity. So what's good? What, what's like? What's going good. on currently? You dropped something new with Kodak. Yo, I just dropped fucking Gratata with Kodak. That shit went crazy. It's going crazy right now. Um, that shit is so hard because just like just the way it is. We had um the hook is basically like a song that I don't know if y'all remember. Quote a brick, have a brick, oh brick, hey. We that was that song was done by a uh Juice Man, OJ the Juice Man, and. The hook on this song is kind of like the same thing. So I went back and got OJ the Juice Man, the original OJ the Juice Man, put him in the video, just everything about the video and how I do it. You know, I edit all the videos too. So all of my videos that you see, all my music videos, you know it's me doing the edit. I'm on I'm on Adobe doing the edit. You're physically pressing the button. I do all the Adobe edit. I don't what do you edit edit on Adobe Premiere Pro? Uh I I do all my own sequencing. I do all my own cutting. I do all my own Everything, every video you've Have seen. You ever, like, if you really that? go back to the videos though, and you really either go look in like the bio for it, or you go look at the actual video, even get at the top, you go look at the very end of it. It's gonna say edited by me. It's not gonna be edited by me and some white guy named Cody. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be edited just by me. You know what I'm saying? Like. I Damn. really take that shit to but seriously. But that's not industry and I, and I love standard. That shit. That's not industry like, standard. Like, I'm always, right? like, watching nah, our videos. People, it, it, editing is so meticulous and boring to some people that they don't understand. Like, when you're the person on the outside of the editing, you're like, yo, edit this video. Like, people don't understand, like, how meticulous and boring it is to edit some other shit that you're not even interested Very in sometimes. Very time consuming. It's mad time consuming. Yeah. It's mad, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like... fucking terrible, it's, huh? It, it is, you know. What I'm I, I used to do that. <laughs> it is though, but when you like it and you have some shit you like, you, you you stop caring about it being meticulous. You stop caring about like you know you're excited about it. And my music videos have always made me feel that way, so I'd be excited to like edit that's my shit. That's fucking crazy you know? that you do that. Yeah, yeah, that's Thank actually you, really. Interesting. I didn't know that. That's yeah, crazy. I did scat. I did fucking gratata. I did all. How long does it take you to edit a music video? Because that takes like time. I'm nice now. I ain't gonna lie. It takes me about a. I, I can do it in a day. Do you have people that like, like when do you step in on the edit? Because like we, I mean, we edit videos every week too. I always yeah. watch no, I, it and I edit, but I never the hard like, drive. The fact that you from press the, the fucking buttons. I'm taking, I don't know. It's hard to. That's yeah, fucking that's, nuts. That's Yo, wild. Like yeah. some directors don't like me buttons. because I'm literally we're shooting. You're dumping that hard drive, taking the hard drive to my house. You're going to get yourself a backup hard drive so you have it. And you can have all the things when I send you this project file. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all you need, brother. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to I'm going to sequence it. I'm going to and I'm going to send it back to you. We found our editor. Perfect. Uh, we were panicking. We were panicking. Tell him, man. You, you know, know how to edit pranks? I know how to edit everything. Okay. <laughs> Just, have you accomplished everything you've wanted to do in your life up to this point, you think? Like, would you be happy right now? Like, would you say you've achieved... Everything you've always wanted to. I've achieved 15% of it. Really? What's the... Um, uh... I'm happy about what I am and who I am and who I've become. And um, I wouldn't change a damn thing. Not one thing I would change about me in this spot if I could. Um, but one thing I will say is I think so much of myself to be so much bigger and to be such a mogul in so many different places that I just feel like I won't allow myself to be limited to who I am right now. I'm I'm bigger than that. I'm I'm going to be the biggest artist in the world one day. And not only am I going to be the biggest artist in the world one day, that's just one thing. I'm going to conquer that and I'm going to keep on going. And I'm going to do things that I'm not supposed to do. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going to do shit that is unheard of. And, and people are going to go back 
you know, when I die and they're going to go to this interview and be like, oh, yo, he was saying this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You say, you like, say you're going to do what you want to, right? But it's like, it's a dangerous world right now. Like, right? Like, you got to hold back a little bit on certain things, right? Like, you, let's be honest. Like, it's, it, people are getting canceled for everything, you That's know? That's something like, we, we deal with, too, even from the platforms and shit, like... I don't believe it's pretty in, crazy. I don't believe. Yeah, I saw your tweet. Yeah, like, I don't believe like, in anything that's. I don't believe in the word canceling. I, I believe that there is a time when a strong group of Twitter people get together and say something at one time, and um, for however long that lasts is what people call canceling. I think that honestly, what we should start doing, guys, is I think we should. I think we should stop using the word canceling, and I think we should just start putting niggas on suspension. <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying, uh, all right, wait, like, my nigga, we gonna suspend you for a month, my month. nigga. Okay. Yeah. Come back after the month. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my nigga. But for the rest of this that's month, my fact, nigga, so. you suspended, my nigga, because that's really what it is. Yeah. It's like it, any true. any anything that's been called canceled or whatever was temporarily. Yeah. canceled it so was like, never really yeah. niggas told me to cancel chick-fil-a are you guys crazy like what's you going on yo see exactly because even it like, doesn't it what's doesn't, the, like even like doesn't david last, dobrick you, you saw know? what happened with him yeah like, david dobrick fucked. Was, and like, now he's he like fucked. back he's pulling like seven million views a week yeah i mean like at the end of the day it's like it's, it's fucked at right? the end of the day i don't i just think regardless of anything i just think when you move forward you do what you're good at you continue to do what you're good at Nobody can cancel anything but you. You're the only person who can do anything like that. You know what I'm saying? If you choose to be uh, brought down by a group of people on Twitter and social media, then that's just how you chose to feel. But if you don't feel that way about yourself, it doesn't matter. It truly does not yeah, matter. I mean, it yeah. doesn't matter because you're going to do what you do best. You're going to get what you got to get and you're going to, and over time, you're going to get back to where you got to get. Continue to do what you do. Do it best. And let your talent show. Because at the end of the day, they're canceling the moment. <laughs> they're canceling that moment. They're not canceling the person. They didn't feel this way about you before whatever moment is being said about you. So take that and just understand that, yo, that was a bad moment. I need to now work back to revive myself from that moment and move forward. So it's like a dick pic suspension? Like if a dick pic oh. <laughs> could be suspension, man. Is that you know like what I'm saying? That, it could know, be yeah. like a, that I mean, leech yeah. like my, you know. <laughs> I'm like in the five minute penalty I mean, yeah. box. Got it. All right, cool. Yeah, I Got mean it. Tori, I, do you, you know who David Dobrik is, right? I, I I don't. You don't know at all. Who is I man? I probably do know him, but I just don't know the name and I know him by He's face. He's not familiar with the situation He's yet. Not. Okay. No, but yeah, I saw this last episode too. I agree with you. I don't think like I don't think the fans could ever they would never cancel you. Your fans, ours would never do the same. But now it's like you could do something. I mean, we did it too. We got in trouble for fucking COVID shit. And then what if YouTube? Now the thing is like if we do something bad and it gets in the news, like us, like it makes YouTube look bad. So YouTube starts getting all this pressure, like, what the fuck? You're not gonna delete the Nelk Boys, look what they did. And then now they're feeling pressure so they can just I feel like all these platforms are just like deleting people now. Yeah. Like, that sucks. yeah Everybody's I feel like that's safe. what the, they mean by cancel. That is like you do something bad, like they'll just say you're banned off Spotify or you're banned off Apple Music. Like that could be fucked. But if you, all all you, of things that I feel like regardless are always temporary. These are things that at the end of the day, you got to, you got to, what people have to understand too. And I, I made a, I made a, um, a post about this when I was saying and people act like artists don't have their own freedom of speech or whatever cases. You have a freedom of speech, but you have to also understand and you have a freedom to do whatever you want. But there is consequences. You can do something bad and your the reaction that comes from your action may not be what you want. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta you gotta live with that. Like that's that's life. The only thing that I disagree with, you know, I disagree with the whole things. I don't think it's real, but the only thing that I really disagree with is when we treat people as if you're not allowed to be human. I'm a fucking human. I make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Everybody makes mistakes. It, it began to be this thing when when you when you can't make a mistake, it's just yeah. like what I'm. I'm, I, I'm t something happened and this person is now canceled because they're just they're a human being that made a mistake. Like if another person that you weren't paying attention to mm -hmm. did that. 
You wouldn't care. Yeah, but the thing, uh, the bigger, bigger, the should, bigger you other... get, like you, people just give less and less and less a fuck about you. Like I'm nowhere near like a superstar, yeah, even. Yeah, but I even I've like noticed as we've to, grown, like people feel less like respect. you're supposed to be a robot. Like you're supposed to smile and do that da, da, yeah. da, and move forward. However, you got to remember that not everybody's like that. People are human. But are there actions that deserve to be canceled? Like certain people do. Are there certain things you can do that where you like that? Per- it's not suspension. It's canceled. Yeah, certain things? I, I, I feel like it think, depends on they stop, come back. First of all, let's just stop using this word canceled. Like this is not a real thing. Like it's okay. not. Okay, so you can it's, like it's, you can never be canceled. Feel, yeah. You, do you feel timid to say certain things? I just don't. I feel like the word when we start using that word, it's like then you start looking at somebody in a certain light that's not really real. It's just social media saying something about this person. Yeah. Like, you own you know it, then you're like, good. Yeah, you who actually real, has like, been like, have you, canceled, like when canceled. you That's what I'm saying. Like, no, when when people go back into their real life... Suspended could be it. When, when people say... When people go back into their real life, bro, you live your life, and that's it. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at the end of the day, there's... That's it. You know, you, 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 some people have a disagreement I disagree about certain things that you do. They're supposed to. They have an opinion. Other people support you. Some people don't. Love it. How, what up? is that? You know, it doesn't change the fact of anything. It, it doesn't change. It doesn't make you. Uh, if 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 a hundred people don't like something that I say, and a hundred people do like something that I say, but these hundred people are louder over here. Why does that change the other hundred people? Wait, so are you targeting just your fans? Or are you no, I'm just saying in general. To... Let's just yeah. say anybody. Let's just say local Joe Schmo, whatever. He does something wrong. And a hundred people don't like what he did. And a hundred people do like what he did. But these hundred people go mad hard about him being canceled to the point where these maybe 50 of these people own something important and say, well, we're going to take you in off of all these things. Because those people said it. It, what does it make the other the same amount of people over here that feel a different way about it makes their their opinion invalid doesn't make sense bro it just people have a right to opinion that's it like if you have a right to opinion say your opinion if you don't like it you don't like it if you do like it you do like it however it's like nobody in this earth can tell you that you're stopped from doing something unless you're the police a judge a jury a uh, somebody no one can tell you that you're you're Damn. being stopped from doing something. What the fuck? Have That's you ever thought true. about running yeah. for president? What do you guys think that, that when this stuff happens? Yo, that was I am nice. voting. I like, like that. Like yeah. Well said. That actually, was nice. <laughs> very very well said. <laughs> very well you said. Know. No, seriously, Tori, thank you. You're the man. Love, really, really appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you are the man, and I promise you right now, I'm Thanks starting the bid at fifty thousand dollars that NFT. I'm just check out that. the NFTs. When you guys do it, I'm in. And check out Black Leprechaun. Seriously, we good? It's amazing. What a great time. See, boys, we're up on. Episodes every Wednesday. So, so much better, right? Every Wednesday. That's the way to do it. He's still funny. He's the star. He's the guy you guys need. We needed the weed. You guys do grow for real though. Like you guys should drop something yeah. together. That'd be crazy. Love my brother. Cool man. For sure. I know what it is, man. Love it. What a guy. What a fucking guy. All right, dude. Thank you for having us. All right, bro. We'll see you. Thanks, guys.